Today in the Boot Guy, we're going to be looking at the USMC Rat Boot by Danner. Now this beautiful boot comes in three ways. It comes in a non-safety toe, non-waterproof model. It comes in a Gore-Tex non-safety waterproof model and it comes in a safety toe with Gore-Tex. Now, when a boot company makes that many versions of one boot, you know that they got this thing nailed down that they can offer it in so many different ways. And Danner with the Rat Boot, they have every aspect nailed down. So let's go over a few of the high points and we're going to start right here with this 360 Vibra sole. Now the way this sole is attached to the midsole is like every other dual density sole except for the outer layer, the Vibram layer of the 360 sole. These little knobs right here that you find all through your forefoot and you find four in your heel allow you to have traction at 360 degrees as you're either ascending, descending, climbing, kicking, jumping, whatever you're doing, you're gonna get traction with this boot. So it's just not the compound of the sole, but it's the chemistry of the sole that allows you to get a lot of life out of this top layer. And that midsole that you see, that nice thick chunk back there where they layer it in there, that's gonna give you a lot of shock absorption. Now Danner reinforces the heel and reinforces the toe. And this being the non-steel toe model, it's a really nice touch. It's nice being able to have just a little something extra on your toe so you can kick things, so you can crawl, so you can just not worry about getting this thing completely soaked when you're walking through those early morning grassy fields. Now the boots are quick dry boots, so if you do have to swamp through some water, well, guess what? You're gonna be dry in a matter of hours. It's a really nice boot. There's not a lot of stuff in here to soak up water and to hold water. Now, the leather in the Cordura is top-notch and it's expected. I mean, when you're paying this much for a pair of boots, you want top-notch materials. Daner did not skimp on the thousand denier nylon or the beautiful leather that they're using. Now, moving into the laces and the speed laces, it's a true speed lace system. So it's just a matter of grabbing your top lace and giving this thing a really hard tug and that whole thing will tighten down. Sure, it's gonna take a little manipulation in the foot section, but all around your ankle, it's gonna get nice and tight. And with the speed laces actually working in that parallel function, you can loosen this boot up and get it off pretty quick too. Now inside the boot, you're gonna find this beautiful mesh quick drying material, which is not gonna hold any water. So if you're swamped, you can take the boot off, shake it out, dry it off, let some air move through it. About an hour or so, you're gonna be ready to go. But if you're leaving them on, Danner adds these two little vents to the side, which is gonna act as a bellowing system. As you move around inside the boot, as you step up, you'll be sucking air in. As you step down, you'll be pushing hot, warm air with moisture in it out. So the boot will dry a little bit quicker. Now about the comfort of the boot, well, they're super comfortable. For a tactical boot, they're a really on the heavy side. I mean, if you're used to featherweight desert tactical boots, when you pick up a pair of these, they're gonna feel like a real boot. There's so much sole, there's so much midsole, there's real leather, there's all this stuff going on. It's a heavy boot, it's not lightweight when we compare it to other tactical boots. But on the foot, spend an hour in this thing, you're gonna forget all about the weight. Now inside, the cushioning system. Underneath this simple, very basic urethane insole, there's a midsole cushion that's underneath the liner. Now having the insole, the midsole liner, and the dual density sole, you're talking about a 24 hour boot without a problem. Now about size and fit, well, it's the Daner 610 last, so that's their most general fitting last out there. So this boot is probably gonna fit everybody. And in order to ensure that Daner has made it in four widths, narrow, regular, wide, and extra wide. And sizes go from size three all the way up to size 16. 
That's a really big gamut. Danner has done a great job of making a boot that fits a lot of people. Now I said the boot is heavy and it is. For a tactical boot, for a lightweight, quick drying tactical boot in that world, these are probably the heaviest boots out there. But don't let that be your deciding factor, the weight. Because like I said, after an hour of wearing these, you forget all about the weight. And with this one weighing in at 4.4 pounds, with the materials and the exceptional construction, I think you'll be extremely happy. So that's the Danner USMC Wrap Boot, American made and beautiful. Now I know a lot of you guys are wearing this boot out there. You had it in the service and now you're wearing it in your civilian life. So please comment below, let guys know about just what a great kick ass boot this is. It's been one of my largest requested boots out there in order to get a review done to let guys know about the materials and all the things built into it. So guys, if you're wearing it, please comment below. Hey, if you're interested in knowing more about the boot, if you wanna see some of the detailed photos I took, or if you just wanna read the blog posting that I put together on the USMC Rat Boot, remember to swing by the bootguy.com. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're on Instagram and Twitter, remember to check me out there too. Whenever I come across a really interesting boots or I'm taking photos of these boots for the reviews, I tend to put a few out there so you guys can see what's gonna come up next. So follow me there also. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these wrap boots for the first time and you've got a few questions about the size and the fit and the width, you can shoot me over an email or you can actually put your question below in the comments section. Either I'll answer it or one of the guys that have been wearing this boot for a really long time will answer that question personally for you. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.